Hello and welcome back to our Chaos tutorial where we're looking at how we're creating a destructible jug in using our Chaos Fracture tools. So in the first episode we went through and created a fractable jug. In this episode we're going to go through and change the collision profiles of the small pieces of the destruction as they appear. So they don't clip and knock out the way and bump into the player as they walk through them and it looks kind of weird. So let's take that out and put this new profile in. When doing a chaos object, you'll find that by default, if we were to drop this in here, for example, and well, actually rather than that, we do play game. What's that drop? And you'll see that we can walk on and be bumped by the debris, yeah, which kind of looks weird, feels weird, doesn't feel very nice. So we can actually change that. And so we can make it so it does not have any collision when it's broken. Now, the way you do this is you have to make your own collision profile. So to do that, you go to project settings. So go to edit, project settings. And then we head over to the collision section on your project settings. And then you go to the preset. And here's all the presets that you may be familiar with if you ever looked at the collision section. And we're going to go to a new one. I'm going to call this one debris. And debris is going to have just a physics only collision. Object type will change to be destructible. Description, debris from a chaos fracture. And then we can give it the responses it's going to have. And basically, we're going to make it have visibility and camera trace set to ignore. The object type for the pawn is going to be to ignore as well. Everything else we want it to still collide with. So the floors, other objects, uh, other dynamic things going on, destructibles, physics bodies, all those things are still in the block. It's just a pawn. So hit accept. And you'll see it now appear at the bottom of your list, debris. Okay, and then we're gonna close that. And the jug here we want to remove because we have to make now a blueprint actor for our chaos object. So I'm gonna create a blueprint class, actor, BP underscore jug. And we're going to give this the geometry collection component. And from our rest collection over here, we will just pick our jug. And there it is. Now, to give it that collision profile on the data panel, search for the word collision. If you go down to physics, and you'll see in there collision profile per level. So what this allows you to do is on each break of the level into zero, one, and two, zero being the whole object, one being the first break, two being the second break, we can change what profile they're going to have. So on index one here, I'm going to change that to my debris collision profile. And we'll put in two as well as debris as well. Hit compile, save that. So now I'll put my jug blueprint in the air. Play the game, watch it break, and you'll see that I can walk through it and not cause any weird problems. So there you go, that is how we customize the profile of the collision of our debris. And you see, it makes it look a lot better. In the next episode, we're going to go through how to add removal to our chunks so they don't always linger around. They will eventually fade away when they're not moving around. So you're going to watch the next episode right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you'll find all my videos early from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all the patrons and YouTube members for the continued support in the channel. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you all in part three.